Okay. Okay, so good morning and good evening everybody and welcome back in today's class. With the God grace, we reach on the fourth, I can say that almost on the 29th day of our training now. Let's look very good, motivated for everybody. Okay, few days left, no problem to complete our course. Now the topic which I'm going to be start. Okay. One minute, guys. Let me stop sharing for a minute. Some confidential things are open, so I have to close that. Oops. Nobody did practice yesterday. I am surprised that nobody did practice yesterday. Because I can see my instance in the sleeping mode. It means nobody open my instance. Okay. No problem. So let me just awaken the meantime. Okay. Okay. So we are going to be start a very, very, very interesting topic. It's called the service now scripting. Okay. And I am going to be use a book. You guys will not get this book. Nobody will get this book. Okay. You have to be learned. Here you have to do explore the other sources, but not this book. Okay. Now in this particular topic in the scripting topic. And point I strongly recommend nobody will take off now. Okay, nobody. Because this is little important topics going on. Glory, I'm putting you on the mute actually. Thanks. Try to avoid any leaves now, at least for the next three to four days. This particular thing, the scripting part, I will teach as much as I know. Okay. Definitely, I, I already started a series of the scripting as well, but that is again a very, very deep dive, which is not the part of the syllabus when we were initially started. So let's see how we can progress on on this part. OK, I am assuming. That you guys out of you, one or two or four or five may be interested in the development part. Not everybody like like me. I'm not interested in the development. Never. I cannot write the I cannot write a code as well. OK, but the scripting is required to understand the code that how the code has been written in service now. Few things we will do. Practically few things we will just understand it. OK, so that you guys can know that OK, there is a concept of service now. Call the service or the call the scripting. And this is what the way it has been defined. This is one of the master book I followed in the last two or three batches as well. OK, now let's start with this part. So this has a seven to eight chapters, which we have, which we have to be think that do we need to be complete everything or not like started classes, client side, server side. All are. so few things I pick up, few things I did not pick up because that is what that was not the part of agenda for for us. OK. Now the thing is that if we, if we start from the chapter number one. And here we go. The first question from the consulting perspective. The first question from the consulting perspective is always come. What is customization and what is configuration again today's session may be a theoretical one. Well, but important to be to be listened. Don't don't feel sleepy. And this question generally asked in the interview. OK, generally asked in the interview that what do you mean by the word configuration and customization? What service now say here? OK. 
let me let me open my presentation just to show you something there. <laughs> Not here. Here, okay, it is easy. Definitely, you you guys go through that video as well. But I'll pick up it for for our our team here. Okay, customization configuration are the two hot topics in the market. Or in your project and any any point of time. Okay, configuration says the things which are available out of the box, and you are just putting your data. It's called the configuration. Like take example, I book one paying guest or PG. Okay, and in that PG, I'm getting everything. Bed, cupboard, ward, wardrobe, TV, small fridge, attached washroom. But what I have to bring? I have to bring my own bed sheets. I have to bring my own clothes. I have to bring my utensils. This is called the configuration because you want to be survive. You have to be live there, right? So to do that part, we have to do the some configuration. So what they say, this is, these are the standard words given by service notes, not written by me. Capability or a feature on a now platform that enable you to deliver against the custom business demand. A very important, very important term here. Why we are building or why we are learning service now? Atul, there's a huge demand of service now in the market. Okay, I agree that part. What is a huge demand here? We will say this huge demand means is a business need here. And that is in you and me are learning service now. So now what this is that any feature which is available out of the box in service now. When I say what out of the box means when we guys open the instance we are getting few things already in the system like incident management modules, customer, uh, sorry, change, problem, knowledge, CMDB, minimum data sets. Okay, update set functionality, email configuration, SLS. These are the configurations. User table, group table, role table. So where you just go and put your data and you start using that part. That is called the configuration here. Then what is customization? Something which is not available in the service now out of the box. And you need to build it. So now if I take example, let's say I give you homework to you guys. Guys, I want a training module in service now so that I can track the training concepts or the training attendance and W. Everything. It is not given by service now. As out of the box. Then if you need to build that. Then. That is called the. Customization. Not the configuration because this is not available. That is not available in the. Out of the box. Service now. And when. We build something new, completely new. By changing the baseline of the business or the developing new applications with the extensions. It's called the custom development. OK, that is called the custom development. So if from the interview perspective, someone asks you have to be make sure that you know these two words. Like if I say so if, if I come here, and say, OK, guys, let's see. Hmm. 
Mm. Login, login. Okay, in the middle, let me let me come here. Okay. So let me go a little deaf part. Again, these are the words from the service now. Configuration includes capability or the feature that on the no platform enable organization to deliver against the custom business demand. Okay. And in the customization, now service now say in the customization, I include both. I include configuration as well. I include custom development as well. So like if you create a, a new application called training for me in service now, that is called the custom development. We will we will do that part. We will do that part that how uh, it can be done. OK, this is part. But now the thing is that again, th this session is mainly from that from the consulting perspective, I, I can say OK. Now the question is that Atul, how to evaluate? Like like the example yesterday we we pick up example that EB father came and said let's renovate the house. Before EB make a decision, she need to be understand that what is the business value for this to her is actually is actually the renovation required at point of time or not? How complex it is. And then she make a decision. Okay, so now if I come here. It says three parts. Number one, define a business value score. Define the complexity score and finally take a decision. How? Let me show you here. When I say the business value, we have a three or five parameters here. And I told you yesterday that I told you, you or someone, someone else, sorry, someone else I told this part that we do the customization only and only when it is required for the regulatory or the compliance purpose. I'm I'm putting in the mute Kushbu. Okay. So it is the value score. So now you have to be see. Let, let's say if I if I come here and open the incident record. Now, if we, I say to you guys, guys, this is the incident form and I want. To be add one more state here. Call the update. Let's say it is a customization because it is not given by service now out of the box. The pattern is there, but still you have to be write the complete code. Now you have to be evaluate. That if I need to be create a new state called. Update. Is it actually required from the business perspective? Is it something from the compliance side? Regulatory side like you cannot drive two wheeler or the four wheeler until unless you have a. Driving license permanent driving license. That is a regulatory and compliance. No parents, no father, no mother is allowed to give the keys to their kids. Their children. Until unless they have a license. In this case, father has to be raised the request for the driving license. That is a customization we are talking. That is number five value. If any customization of five, then you have to be go and five means only regulated in the compliance part. There's a, there's a concept came actually. I was I was reading yesterday. There's a concept came Moscow. Anybody hear this concept Moscow? It's not a city. Anybody know this concept guys? 
मॉस्को नो तो नहीं मॉस्को एम स्टैंड्स फॉर मस्ट हैव स्टैंड फॉर सी स्टैंड फॉर शुड एंड डब्ल्यू स्टैंड फॉर विल नॉट हैव being a business analyst being a consultant you have to be understand being a architect you have to be understand that the requirement which i am getting is a must have could have should have or will not have in the rainy season the water is coming inside my house i have to be renovated that is a must have Okay, fine. I am earning good. Shall I go for the renovation for one room? It's very old. It is a should have. I am well settled. I have good saving. Shall I update two more rooms for the renovate? It is a could have. No, no. Kitchen. I just recently renovated. I will not have this to be updated, to be renovated. So these four words, Moscow. You have to be. you can follow now the fourth part which is fourth part is that it is a must have part third is a kind of a could have customization support relation of a business value you know that if you do this customization then something business value you can achieve but this thing can be available via work arounds as well and number 2 is just to be support to the users but not giving actual potential value to me and one means no value these are the business scores let's see the complex score to build a new state value in my incident management here how much complex it is this is the complete score is it low to medium low to medium means it will take 2 to 3 4 days and some scripting is required important some scripting is required okay khushbu okay medium build a new scoped application we will we will discuss this part scoped application we are going to be discuss that is for part of the custom development medium to high build a global application a huge level high when you are changing the baseline rules and another high build complex and the custom integration now these scores you have to be decide that the requirement is fitting in which particular score and then take a combination of these two and make a decision do you need a customization or you do you don't want or don't want any new customization it is all all the things in your mind should be like a or i can say it it is like a human being decision making now it is not a system defined it is you have to be test you have to be check that okay if competitors is high but it is giving the value of the 3 i will not recommend to go no if competitor high and it's 4 to 5 i have to be think low to medium but four or five i have to be think because to get regulatory i have to be just do little changes to make sure that my son or my daughter able to drive the car or bike i have to just apply for the pass uh, i'm saying passport it's a license that's fine for me i'm getting a regulatory here it is a normal process okay so these 
things come into this particular part. So according to this book, what it say? If you are making, if you are writing any code, that is called the customization here, not the configuration. So this book says that don't think that writing a simple code means you are doing a very good job. No. First, you have to be understand. Can I achieve this result via out of the box functionality or not? I'll, I'll give you an example. How to make this field mandatory? We are going to be discuss these topics in, in our upcoming classes now. There are two ways. There is a concept called the UI policy. And this is a concept called the client script. By the both way I can do. But as a developer, I have to be understand. Which is the best method to do that part. And here what our concept of the customization and the configuration came. According to this book, if you write a small line, a small code. Then also it become a customization. So with this concept, what it says, let's discuss about the scripting. To script, not to script. This writer says, the author says that it is up to a developer to notice that when he or she need to be write a code, it is not like like a case. Atul, I like coding. I love coding. I can do anything in the coding. You start writing the code. No, that is not recommended now. Because now service now is moving from the uh, or I can say to the low code or the no code concept. The example of the catalog builder, example of the flow designer. These are the examples of the low code. Where you have to be just drag and drop, your work will be done. No scripting, no much scripting is required. So in this particular topic, what they say that before you you start writing your code, you start writing a script, you have to be thinking that can I achieve the result some other way? Okay, that is called the that it is the what call has to be given. Okay, so what they say if you can configure instead of script, because service now say configuration is much be easy. Why? Because it is easy for maintenance. Let's say I I purchase a flat. Okay, and I got after six months or eight months I got a notice that government people are coming to inspect my house that it is as per the standards or not. But in the six months, I put a one small room, one storeroom as well in my house. Now I have to be give justification to those guys that why I build it. What was the requirement? And they can put objection as well. Why you did? Do you think that by making these two rooms, your, your living rooms are getting small? Your kids, your family is not getting comfortable. So it is say that and also now earlier you just have a two rooms. Now you have four rooms in your house. Maintenance also increased. Every time when these government people come for the visit, you have to be justify that part. So this is better thing for the configuration instead of the scripting part. A very, very lovely book, I must say. OK, and the same example which we discussed to make this field mandatory. I have a two ways. Client side and the UI policy. OK. Client side and the UI policy. Both way you can do in the UI policy. Just one box tick work done in the client side. Client side you have to write a four or five line code as well. So now you have to be think. And it says avoid the scripting whenever possible. Configure which has a more benefit. Easy to maintain, easy to upgrades. 
Okay. Let me come here. Any doubt, any question till this point? Kumar, Olu, Omiko, Anna, Gloria. Who is this? EB, Ima, MJ, Saba, Akanksha, Priya. Where is Kushbu gone? Oh, oh, she, she pinged, right? Yes, guys, any doubt, any question? No, sir. How to add more people? Okay, it is option. Let me try to add Dipsy. Ugu is not there today. Gloria is there. Okay, good. Come on this point. Now, if you'll be okay with this part, then we will discuss the type of scripts. Mainly two type of scripts work in the service now. Client side and the server side. Okay. What do you mean by the word client side? Anybody idea? What is the word? What is the meaning of the client side? That's his browser. Sorry? Like customer, customer and uh... The script is going to execute. From what the customer end? Or like in the yeah, UI, like front end UI. No, be, be clear on your words. It's it's not a right thing. Um, Kumar, what do you mean by the what, what do you mean by the word called the front end? The application which is visible to the end user. What is application? Uh, service now. Sorry, I told you. I, no, no, like no. in my 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 words, I cannot able to. So client side basically. I have take an example here. Okay. The question you put in the class. And I answer. Those are the client side script. You question, I answer. You question, I answer. The question you ping me after the class. And I take my time. That is the server side. Service. For that, maybe I have to be go and do some research, I have to find out some books, some blogs, some YouTube videos, I have to be watched and then I say, okay guys, this is the answer, that part. That is called the server side. Okay, so client side says, the logic, the script, which run on the user screen, on this screen, on the form level, that is called the client side. The logic which run in the background of the script, or sorry, background of this form, which nobody is able to see, is called the server side script. Very, very, very basic concept, and everybody have to be answer, remember this. Now, in the service, now we have a under this, we have a different type of scripts available. Client side, we have a client scripts. UI policy, UI action. In the server side, we have a business tool, access control, script includes, UI action, schedule, job, workflow, and script action. As per our agenda, we are going to be discuss one, two, and three. These three are there, and one, two will be there. UI action will be covering in the client side only. Okay. So this is what we are going to be discuss. Now, I, I'm not in the position where I can say, okay, why you are in the two places? Because you guys don't have any idea about the same. But we are going to be cover this in our upcoming classes. Okay. So now, let me scroll down. Okay. Uh, yes. If you notice one thing, when we are creating any field, any choice value, any kind of a workflow kind of things. 
we notice that we have to put a sequence number. That is called the script execution order number. This one. This order number. This order number has a very, 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 very strong value, at least in the area of the scripts, at least in the area of these sections. This one. What this do actually? This field tell to service now. When this script will run. Let's see example. If there is a theft has been happened. OK. Now you are at that place. What you will do? First you will inform to or call to police. If someone injured in the parallel or you can ask someone or maybe you are so speedy that you can call to the ambulance as well okay third point put some kind of a boundary outside that place so that nobody should enter inside and manipulate anything there these are the different different action. These are the different different scripts. And the order has been defined. Like it like if, if I say if. Someone has get a get a fire and the body has been burning. So what step you have to do? Put the big blanket on him immediately. Put some kind of a, that antiseptic creams maybe someone say put some paste something kind of things or someone say put some like in our in our indian family when a small things has been happened they say put the oil desi ki kind of things put that oil on, on that particular place someone say first of all go and wash that depends on the situation to situation so what this what this particular concept says that when we write our scripts we have to make sure the execution order should be correct. Let's say I write a script. I say make this field mandatory. OK. And that is the. Execution order order number five. I write another script where I say make this and this and this field mandatory. Sorry, this and this field and this field non mandatory. And I put the order number. Eight. Now what will happen? First number five will run. Then number eight will run and number eight will override the number five. It means and you will say why your code is not working. Because you write the right code, but it's not working because of the order sequencing is a different. It is very much, very much important to be understand that in which order. In which order your script is going to be executed. Let me show you a example here. So like this for the business rule. This is a concept called the business rule. OK, this says if we want to run a business rule which has a before value. Then the order should be less than 1000 number. 998, 99, 95, 230, 240, like this number you can put it. But it should be less than 1000, which includes before engine workflow, before business rule with an order greater than 1000. Database operations are there after business rules are there, email notifications are there. So these things basically for us as a consultant is not much required. But we should understand the sequencing is actually matter. Now if I show you something here.
Okay. And let me take a table called incident. Nothing is there. Good. Chalo, achhi Let me open the business tool then. Here you will find something. Yep, like this you can see, right? Let me put a table called incident. So now you see here. On an incident table, I am running the business tool. And these are the two business rules which have a same sequence. Triple line and triple line. I want. If you see fire. Call the put, call the fire brigade and start putting the water. In the side by side manner. That is the same sequence. I want I want that that. Business will run in a, in a same sequence. As soon as I click on the submit, it should see that what is the age of the requester and it will also check all the fields are filled properly or not. So this thing I can achieve via the same sequence. The only thing which you have to be make sure that none of the business rules overwriting the other's business rules value. That is important. And then now if I say in the incident table, if I put like this. This is the sequence that these things work. 0, 50, 90. See. Like this. So now you say, oh my God, Atul, 100 are the lot of sequences. On. Business tool, but these two business tools are different in the working. So there's a no impact. But the sequence is same because. If this thing happened, then the both things should be work in the parallel. By default, 100 is the order for business rule. By default, it will say 100 number. OK, this is important to be understand the sequencing part. OK, now let me come here. Now come to the introduction part. Before that, anybody has any doubt, any question? Any clarification required anybody? Gloria, Amiko, Ima, MJ. Atulji, that execution order will be explained by a step by step right later. No, it is only that much only, buddy. Not no more explanation, even though I tried in this book as well, there's nothing more explanation they have given. These things come from the experience, I can say mainly. Okay, okay. When you execute your script, when you execute your business tool and you're finding, oh, it's not working. Or it's overwriting by someone else, then you have to understand the ordering part. Okay, okay. okay. there is a thing. Now the scripting part. In service now, to do a script, to write a code, we should understand or know the JavaScript. That is a basic part. That is the basic one we should know. I'm not saying you should know the advanced topics of JavaScript. No. Only the basic topics are required in the JavaScript. That you should know that what is JavaScript, what are the syntax, what is the loops, for loop, while loop, if loop, how it's work, that it work for you. Okay, I don't have much idea about the JavaScript guys. Very very clearly, I'm I'm saying, but the benefit is that service now giving its own classes and methods and functions to make your work easy. What is classes? What is method? That I'm not going to be discussed because I'm assuming you know these basic concepts. I told in the beginning as well, guys, you have to be learn the JavaScript. Okay. And now you know this part. That is what my assumption here. If no, please start reading about the, these things. 
what is method what is class what is object insert in javascript because javascript is built up on the basis of the oops concept c++ concept object oriented concept okay now if i come down here there nothing much there we mention okay so like this is the example of the script this is the example of the script few things which is important from a consultant perspective i'm sure that see being a consultant i'm not going to be write a script but for the developers like we have a student akanksha who is completely fresher in the industry i recommend akanksha to go for the development role first okay priya sir. kumar you guys can go for the development part but if you love to learn coding then anybody can become a developer i also want to become a developer but i'm not getting that much time i lots of support i'm not getting that much time to to learn this part okay so if you think you can learn go ahead guys it's it's a very good area good career in that part okay so this is the example of the script now the question come atul you are saying a lot of things about the script you showed us that how to write or where to configure the sla where to configure the email where to create the table now tell me where to write the script so this thing this writing is called this this thing has been written in the script editor let me show you that script writer here okay let me open a very simple one client scripts after reading this book i came to know a lot of new things guys truly Why it's not working? Okay, it's working. Okay, working, working. Let me show you that. How? What is the script editor? Where you have to be write the script? Okay. So this is called the script editor. You will get this option in your workflows. You will get your option in the UI policy. You will get option in the in the what I can say. um client script business rules a lot of places okay this is the script editor to understand before we write any script let's understand the syntax and the symbols available here okay this is a disable part of the format let let me do like this let me copy paste and then i'll show you some examples here okay like this the first one it says if you want to just make a blank like this then click on this icon then yeah so this is look better colorful life colorful service now colorful script writer number 1 if you want to toggle the comment if you want to make these lines as a comment click on this and double dot lines will be started here to make a comment any any uh, line you want to make a comment you can do it this is for the format code let me do let me uncomment this so that we can go to be select only this four okay now let's say i am writing like this and i want to do the format here hmm atul it is looking good definitely in in your college days when you will be learning or if if you are from the computers background definitely your teacher told us that how to write a script in c c++ java sql kind of things and the formatting they give us earlier we write a script on the command prompt now we are writing a same script in the service now in the script writer if you find and replace any word you can do that part want to search you can search as well here 
and this is for the next and previous one in the search option. I want this to be little bigger, much bigger. If you have any question, click on this. That what the shortcut is available here. If you want to save, click on this save. Did save means it compiles the code in the background as well. I'm sure now you'll be getting some memories from your old days. At least I'm getting some memories from the old days. In I guess C, we have a F9 is a shortcut key for the compilation. Control F9 is a compilation one. Which compile my code, which run in the background, see that any issue, any syntax error, any code error is there or not. And then if you want to show the toggle syntax check like this. So if there's an error like this, if I put like this. OK, it will not show any error because I. Off this part now, if I on it, it will show me the cross that there was there's some in this line. There is some problem which is not getting completely parsed. So if I remove. It will be gone for me. This is the basic script editor. Which we are going to be used, which we are going to be. Discuss discuss we already discussed, but we are going to be use the script writer in our. Upcoming classes. Anybody has any doubt till this point? Any question? Olu, EB, Omiko, Kumar, Gloria, Ima, MJ, Sava, Anna, and Priya. No, Atulji, no, from my end, uh, it's okay. <laughs> Good. Now let's go in the depth of scripting. I'm telling you guys, this book is so beautiful. I must thanks thanks to this author. The way this book has been written, easy to understand. It is it is like a quick win. At least by this book, you can get a basics clear. OK, now let's actually come to the coding part. For for what we are be here at point of time. OK. What it says. To write the code, OK, let, let me come at this point first of all, and I want a very true answer from everybody. How many of you have a actually idea? About scripting maybe javascript classes and object if you know then put a this if you don't know then put a this tell me how many of you have an idea about the classes objects if no reply i assume you guys have a complete idea about all these things Yes, Akanksha, go ahead. No. Okay. So I don't have any idea. Okay, Akanksha says I don't have any idea. Okay, good. EB also says, sorry, Omiko says little bit. Okay, Saba says little bit, that's fine. What about others? Rest have all the idea. Right? Good. Good to make, to make my work easy. So the thing is that because I I cannot teach these classes and objects here. I strongly recommend. You can start learning this thing from the W3 school. It is the best website. I learn C, C++ from here. You can learn for the JavaScript. And start learning from this website. The basics you will get idea. A very beautiful website. I learn C from here. And the good point is that you can do exercise as well here. As actually, you can do the exercise like this.
right? If you want to understand the C or C++ concept, you can start. Home, intro, like this. What are the classes? What are the objects? Better go ahead. Go ahead with this website. Basics one is must, much required for everybody. Okay. Now, this particular scripting or this particular, particular topic, service now build everything in the JavaScript. But this says, guys, I want to make your life easy. So you can use the objects, you can use the methods, you can use the function which I am giving to you. It means you no need to be write your code to, to make a thing. Let, let's say if I if I take example, I tell to my my son that please bring a glass of water for me. Day one, he did not understand because he's in the learning stage. He did not say he did not understand what is the meaning of the water. Bring me. Right, he did not understand. But then I told him water means I'm asking about the Pani in Hindi. We call it the Pani. Bring means Merili leke yao. Bring mother kuch leke yao. For me, Merili. Now he understand. If I say, okay, go and uh, bring a glass of water for me. He go, fill the water and bring it for me. These are the APIs kind of things. Okay. So service now said, don't worry guys, you don't need to be right every, each and every code. No, I am giving you some inbuilt functions, some inbuilt classes, some inbuilt methods, some inbuilt objects. You have to be just use that and your work is done. And to do that part, what they say, there's a new concept introduced called the glide record. A two days back, I released a video. Or two or three days back, client side scripting, which includes the glide record and the glide glide classes. There's a one guy, I definitely yes, respect him. He's good, good developer. He put a comment on my video. What I say, I say glide means to making something smooth. Sliding wave. But do you know that how this glide would come into the picture? What was the first name of the company service now? Anybody has any idea? It was glide soft. Ah, yes, yes. <laughs> now, now there's a no yes, Kumar. It's done. You missed the chance. Right? <laughs> it, yes. it, was the, it was the company called the Glide Soft. And then Fred Ludi, I guess in 2019, 97, 2004, I guess, they introduced this company with a name called the Service Now. So they're using this Glide from the previous company name and make the architecture around this word. So it is kind of a legacy of service now. This is this saying in Hindi. I'm not sure that how many of you can understand, but I'll try to explain. This saying in Hindi. Jab tak suraj chand rahega, tab tak tera naam rahega. It means till the time sun and moon will live alive. Till the time people will remember you. Generally, we use these sayings for the for our our God. Till the time there's a life on the earth. People remember Jesus every time. People remember Allah every time. People remember Ram Krishna every time. This is what they said. Till the time service now exists into the world. The glide will be always used there. And I like the approach. They're not, they're not taking out their roots. They're making sure their roots should be followed every place. And this is what they use in the word called the glide record here. 
the glide word come from here. I mean, I'm happy that that person watched my video and put the comment there. Really, really happy to see that part. OK, now let's come to our agenda. What is glide record, guys? I, as I say that this session is completely for the theoretical part because this much I know. The concept which glide, glide record come here is basically when I want to do any action, when I want to do any action on the incident table, or incident record, how I can do that part, how I can use that part, how I can call that table. I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming on the technical part, guys. I'm very upfront here that you have to be clear at basics. I am telling the day one. You should know the basics of JavaScript and this is what we have been looking here. So if you want to work on any table and you want to use that table in your scripts, then you have to be used the glide record concept. It means what is a glide record? Glide record is basically a way of finding and counting the records in service now based on the different query. Now, did you notice I come here, I search for the incident. And I say I want to see the only open incidents. How it work in the background? Maybe a script is running, which is calling the incident table and finding that how many incidents as an active tree. Did we notice this part? Let me let me show you something. Open it. Now it is it is the time for the hard hard stuff, guys. Active tree, very none. Good. They are not using anything like this. Okay. Good. 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 Then fine. Let me. Try to show you something more. Incident uh, resolve. Sorry. It is simply they can do. Let me open unassigned. These are the examples we'll be discussing. OK, that is also simple one assigned to me. This one. Something here we can. So they're using the JavaScript code. Not completely, but somewhat they'll be using it here. OK, let me show one more thing in the approvals memory that I can find out. I want to show you some, some code like this. So like this, they'll be putting JavaScript. This one. OK, so now if you want to work on any kind of a table. You want to find out that how many record exist. And you want to find out Atul, I want to find out in an incident table how many incidents are P2. Where. State is equal to open. And assigned to me. To run this kind of a query. 
we run on the glide record. How many of, or maybe maybe I can say like in the SQL, select star from table table name where department is equal to X, employee code number is equal to Y. In this particular command, in the SQL command, the where the table table name is playing everything. The same concept we are using here with the help of the glide record. If you want to run a query, you have to be use the glide record. Okay. And how you can use how what is the syntax for this? It is be like this word new glide record table name. This is the keyword here. Let's say if I if I go here and open the let's say I'm writing a client script, normal client script. Let me pick up. New glide record and incident. What I'm doing, I'm using the service now class glide record and I'm calling my table called incident. It is always in this way only. This way. And what I'm doing in the next line, this one. Let me copy and tell you. What is the meaning of this line, guys? Meaning of this line. What I'm saying, I am creating, I'm, I'm getting a new object. There is name is incident and putting that object in my variable called the glide record. Here, here I strictly, strictly tell you guys, the concept of classes and object must be clear. Otherwise it is going to be tough for you to learn service now scripting. Okay, so in this part, what I'm doing, I am bringing the incident table in this variable. And after that, when I get the variable, let, let's say example, I said, my wife told, okay, go to the market and bring the bread. Bread is this one. And I bring the bread and put in a one poly bag. And mention on the top, this is a bread. Let's say I'm we are going on a trip. And my wife says, put the liquid part, juices, cool drinks, soft drinks in one bag and mention on the top. It is a liquid. Put bread, chocolates, spreaders, jam in a one box and put spreaders there. What I'm doing, I'm putting the object in a one variable. Now that bag become a variable for me. And now I can use that bag to make a function. Now my wife will not say, hey, can you give me the bread? He will say, can you open that bag and get one slice of bread for me? That is the function we have to be do on that part. Okay, so like if I say, you can put any name here, nothing. You can put my name as well, like this. Or let's say, LNG. LNG dot. Because I'm using this variable and I have a these many methods on that part. Same example. My wife says open that bag. She know in that bag it is a bread. The object is already in the in the variable called the bag. Open that bag, LNG dot. What do you want to do? You want to insert, you want to order, you want to query. Count, okay, query, count how many bread slices are there. I can run the query here. This is the basic concept of the 
classes and the objects which which as i know guys i'm not a i'm not a good even i'm not a bad developer i'm a worse developer i i tell you one one incident when i was doing my mc in the in the beginning of the mc only 2005 one of my teachers was teaching c as a, as a language so she so so she teaches on the blackboard that okay guys this is the syntax print print tf and all the things are there in the lab when we go she say okay write a code listen listen the example this is this is not a a bad point for me this is a motivation for everybody whatever nobody is here guys can you hear me or not Okay, how this happened that the screen is completely blank, and I'm on the previous one. Let me put like this. Good, at least. Okay, so then my teacher says to everybody, write a code to get a input from the user and delete that number, and the number should be between. One to ten. I said okay. Why I'm not everybody? I'm not able to see anybody here. Here. Come on, what this these guys are doing? Okay, no problem. Okay, I said okay. Let me write a code. I start writing a code. I include the classes. print f enter the number okay and print f close number deleted and brace is close i compile that code there is no issue in the compilation that's good i tested the code it was not working 1 2 3 4 five time i tried it's not working i go to my my lecturer that i am facing this issue what to do now she said atul bring bring your copy okay what code you write it here i said okay let me let me bring my copy i take my notebook to to her and she laughed like anything i said what happened ma'am she asked me what is the background i said i'm i'm a graduate in the bcom in the commerce with the taxation as a specialization okay she says atul where is the logic in this particular code i said come on what is the logic you want i write the complete code include classes print tab enter the value delete the value that's all she said okay tell me how you will be executing this this code i said when i compile this compilation there is no compilation error on the screen i get please enter the number i enter the number 5 then what then i press on the delete button and she laughed like anything then she told me the issue is that because you did not write the logic here i said what logic left now you told me this thing only right include the include the class says write the print is this 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 and it will work she said no you have to put a logic that how you are going to be check that a number has been entered by a user is matching the number you want to be delete on that day i came to know that these languages are not my cup of tea three years two years basically the the c c++ java oracle i understand this is not my cup of tea at least at least c c++ java i said ma'am i am a bcom graduate this much i can understand i assure that i will clear the exam with a good number but i cannot write a big codes for you sorry so this is what we have to be do it now these are two things actually required that how to write the code is the one part do you able to write the code the logic that is the second part okay so in this part what we are doing specifically let's jokes apart and we will come back to the previous our question now i need to be i need to be take a stop here guys because i don't want to be push everything to you today 
I want before tomorrow class you had to be know the classes and the object class concept, the methods that function. Then it is easy for us to be learn this service now scripting here. Okay. Let me stop the recording here first. Before that, anybody has any doubt, any question? Anybody? I'm not able to see anybody face guys here. So if you can unmute and just tell me that will be good. Uh, Atulji, actually your uh, screen is blank actually. Nobody is able to see the screen, yeah? Uh, ah, now, now it's visible. Okay. okay, okay. Tell me, any doubt, any question, guys? Anybody? No. Sir. Good. And don't worry, it is, it is not tough, guys. I'm telling you. Don't be demotivated. Atul, after 30 days, you are telling it is a scripting part. It will be. This too shall pass. Remember. Atul, as a business. Analyst, Sorry, Sava, your voice is very low. As a business analyst, do you need this? You need only the basics understanding that what do you mean by the glide record, what the code you'll be calling here, how it's be working, that's all. Okay. So that tomorrow, if you at least read the code and get the execution pattern, then you can do it by yourself. Okay. Okay. Stop the recording here now and we'll take a quick attendance. 